Wangfuk Court was in the middle of a massive renovation, a 330 million Hong Kong dollar project covering eight towers and almost 2,000 homes. The estate was wrapped in bamboo scaffolding, green plastic netting, waterproof canvas, and foam ceiling around windows. Around midday, smoke appeared on the exterior of Wang Chung House, the first tower to ignite. Firefighters arrived within five minutes, but by then flames had already climbed multiple floors. Eyewitnesses described it as unbelievable. The scaffolding erupted like a ladder of fire. Wind pressure turned the exterior into a vertical chimney. Melting netting dripped flaming plastic onto lower floors. And because seven towers were wrapped at the same time, the fire jumped across buildings like a chain reaction. By nightfall, more than 700 firefighters were deployed. Over 900 residents were evacuated. And the skyline above Tai Po looked like a burning row of dominoes. To understand how this could happen, we have to look at the materials wrapped around these buildings. Bamboo scaffolding is part of Hong Kong's visual identity, but it's also flammable. And in this renovation, bamboo was combined with plastic sheeting, non-fireproof netting, flammable foam, years of dust, and old paint. According to Hong Kong police and fire services, three men from the scaffolding contractor have been arrested on suspicion of manslaughter. Preliminary inspections suggest some protective materials may not have met fire safety standards. But again, we must wait for the official investigation before drawing conclusions. What we do know is this. 1. Bamboo burns vertically, fast. The fire raced up the exterior in minutes. 2. Plastic netting melts and spreads flames. 3. Foam-sealed windows created deadly smoke traps. 4. Multiple buildings were wrapped at the same time, reducing fire breaks. One fire expert described the scene as a three-dimensional combustion chamber. This was not a typical fire. It was a structural failure layered on top of a renovation site, the worst possible combination. But residents saw warning signs even before the fire broke out. 